Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd this show where I talk about OPLAY games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. I thought it would be perfect for October since, you know, it's the spooky month and this is kind of the closest that they'll ever get to making a Mario horror game. So our first goal here is to just go up. And when we try to open up the door we hear a weird sort of giggling sound. got our first key. You'll be seeing a lot of these in this game. This game is all about exploring the mansion and just finding stuff, so, you know, we'll need a lot of keys. Sure, take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. This house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Uh oh. This looks ugly. All right, youngster. Look lively. Follow me. Post haste. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm? Where is this, you ask? Why these cozy quarters are where I do my- I don't know why I'm giving him a British accent. Or where I do my ghost studying. Professor Egad's ghost research laboratory. The lab, if you're of a shortening mind. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So you believe that ma the mansion actually exists then? Strange. I I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so, and I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat kind of like yours went to the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never even returned. Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. You wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Let's just get into the ghost hunting. That's the vacuum cleaner I en engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. This game has a good amount of puns. Suck up all kind of thi kinds of things. Let it rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. So let's do, do just that. R button and C stick. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. You can't be caught using conventional means. So you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. Ahem. How's about we start your training? 
Ghosts seem to like dark darkness and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. That's when it's vacuum time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. They'll learn more that, more that way than just listening to me yap about it. Got our first ghost. Hit them with your flashlight, suck them up, and use the control stick to pull them back. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost's heart, that's your chance to vacuum them up. While vacuuming, tilt the control stick in the opposite direction to bring them in. So we do that again. When that surprised ghost's heart appears, vacuum it with the R button and control stick. Flip the control stick in the direction opposite the ghost. Now we've got two this time. We can actually vacuum multiple at once. I failed there for it. I'm gonna try to get the max amount of ghosts, which I think is 10. Best results. You have to get it as close as you can before flashing the light. Surprise them with the light when they get close. Pow pow. The more the better. Got it? Ghosts love to hide in dark places. Isn't that a hoot? There, here they come. Now he'll send five of them at once at us. And I'm gonna try to get them all at once. Okay, I got four of them. I missed one. So I think I'll get nine ghosts. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the Poltergeist 3000 as a team. You get me, young fella? That'll do. How many did you get? Nine ghosts! I think I've gotten 10 before, but it can be a bit tough, because sometimes the ghosts just like to disappear on you. Looks like it worked up quite a sweat. How about a cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know? Let's go to the gallery. I want to explain some stuff. We have a couple of statues. You press A on them, and the wings start flapping. But we also have some paintings here. We have this painting, which just says 0G. And then we have a bunch of numbered paintings that don't have anything in them. Also in the back here we have a gold room. We've got gold statues. Are those gold bars on the floor? I don't know. But yeah, we've got a lot of stuff back there and like a pedestal for something. But we also see Luigi carrying something in his left hand. So let's talk to Egad about all this. Are you done appreciating art for today, Luigi? Where am I? This is the gallery. This is where I hang all my paintings. Ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings, and I traveled the world collecting them. Oh, it was glamorous, I tell you. Well then, now I have to tell you a horrifying story. The last ghost I caught was number 22, Boo Lossus. But there are lots of boos, and King Boo rallied them all to take revenge upon me. They used my machine to free Boo Lossus from the painting. Then they went and turned all my other portraits back into ghosts, too. As if that weren't enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night, and then they all hid inside. If I told anybody else this stuff, they'd probably have me committed. I'm sure my portrait ghosts are somewhere inside the mansion. I just have to get them back. Alright, what's a GB Horror? I designed the Game Boy Horror as a communications terminal. It has all sorts of functions. For example, you can press the Z button to see a list of items you've picked up. Give it a try after you get some coins. Of course, you'll also be able to see portrait ghosts there once you capture some. You can also use the Y button to display a map of the mansion. This, the display will color the rooms as you visit them. Check the map if you ever get lost. Got all that, Sunny? Go back to the lab. Alright then. Where will you go, Luigi? Let's head to the mansion. Careful now, Luigi. Boo hoo hoo, where did you go, Mario? Huh, Luigi? Wow, it's Luigi, you finally made it, oh joy. Thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a mansion and never returned. Then, when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts, and I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Leave it to me. 
Yay, thanks Luigi, you made my dark and stormy night. Now you can't say no and be a bit of a jerk to Toad, but he has something that we want. He gives us the ability to save our game. Talk to me for help anytime. And he also lights up the room, so that's awesome. But anyways, once you're ready, go ahead and blow out these candles. <laughs> Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you, Blue Hair. Now you're in for, for it, Blug Hug. Or Blug Hug. Just like a little red cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you? Huh? Blah! -ha. Here they are now. Here's our first ghost. Just do what you did in training. Flash a light at him, and suck him up. Now, an interesting thing is, uh, ghosts will never spawn right in front of you, so what I like to do is just spin around in circles until they spawn. Or like we'll see later, I'll start, you know, going around and checking a bunch of furniture. Anyways, once you defeat all of the ghosts, the room will light up and you'll typically get something. Like right here in the center, we have this chest. And it gave us a key. Now with the Game Boy Horror, once you get a key, it'll tell you exactly which door it leads to. So right now we just want to head over here. And sure enough, the key leads right over there. This is the ant room, the ante room, the ante room. Ante room. However, it's pronounced. It sure is dark, and so of course that means we're gonna see a bunch of ghosts. These new ghosts are punching ghosts. I forget the exact name. Whenever I forget the name for an enemy, I think those are pink punchers, or purple punchers, or... They're punchers. And so, they'll punch you in the face and you'll lose money. Got that orange ghost, and I think we just have one more ghost and then we move on. Or two more ghosts, sorry. Ow. There you see the uh, punching ghosts in action. I'll just call them pink punchers, and then... <sighs> Collect my coins back up. Sometimes you'll flash them with your light and then start using the vacuum and it just decides not to work. Now we move on into the next room. Now, whatever you do, do not open up the left cabinet or the right cabinet. Until I say so. I mean, I guess you can if you want to, it's just... Th there's a thing you can get in here, and it's way easier if you just don't open up your cabinets. We have garbage can ghosts, and they drop banana peels that you can slip on, so be very careful when dealing with them. Ow. Because that'll happen. I'll just... Okay, got him sucked up. And now, unless I'm mistaken, that that's it for all of the main ghosts in this room. Yeah. So, uh, once you... Just wait a little while, and then once no ghosts are appearing... So don't open up this left cabinet, because the last ghost that you need to light up the room is in there. However, in this right cabinet, uh, there's a specific ghost that'll help you get a lot of money called the Speedy Spirit. And like his name suggests, he's incredibly quick, and so it's a lot easier to hit him when there's not a lot of ghosts flying around. So you want to open this up, flash him, immediately start sucking him up, and see how much money he drops. There will be a lot of those guys around the mansion, and you want to get them if you want a lot of money. Speaking of a lot of money, first let me get that coin. This middle cabinet... Oh, I thought that had a lot of money in it for some reason. Huh, that's weird. Anyways, I'm gonna check this real quick to see if that has anything in it. Okay, it's got a heart. 
And then last ghost is in here, it's just a normal orange ghost. And that's it, we're done with this room. Key will spawn up there, you want to use your vacuum to suck it down. And that key leads all the way over to the left side of the house. And now you want to head over here to the left because this is the balcony. And there's another toad. Alright, where are you? Oh, Luigi? Yes, Luigi, how lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. We get this little balcony lit up. Looked everywhere, can't find him. Where is he? Talk to him again. And then you can save. Head over to the left door and... Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than we've yet seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search for its heart for clues. Sometimes you can l learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Of course, as always, we open up this door, and I think I might start skipping this, this these uh, door opening cutscenes after we finish area one. Now we want to head into the study, and right over here is Neville, our first boss ghost. Now, first, what we want to do is head over here, shake this chair, and we get a speedy spear. Be careful because he can sometimes mess you up because you're right up against that chair. But anyways, we get a ruby. Our first gemstone. Basically, those give you a bunch of money, so you want to collect those. You, you'll usually find them either inside of chests, but it's very rare to find one. Or you could also find them in speedy spirits and also golden mice. If we look over here, there's some cheese, and if you interact with it, a golden mice will pop up. Suck him up, and you get a bunch of money along with an emerald. I'm just gonna quickly get all of this money. And now, finally, it's time to deal with this boss ghost. First, you want to go into first person view and examine him. Ho 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 ho! Go ahead. Try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Ho 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 ho. So, we, he can, the reason he's able to disappear is because he can see us. So we just need to wait for him to not be able to see us. And then suck him up. Now when you're sucking up a boss ghost, they have a lot more HP than a typical ghost. And they start dropping pearls. These basically also give you extra money. And the better you do on a boss fight, the better pearls you get three tiers of pearls and the big pearl is something you can only get like what if I, I think if you do it perfectly or if you get just really good and then the other two pearls also give you a good amount of money but not as good as the big pearl oh, yeah. we open up this chest and we get another key all the way on the left side of the hall also, you'll see a lot. Sometimes I go to open a door, but I press A just a split second too soon, and Luigi says Mario. Prepare to hear that a lot. And yeah, I'll go ahead and start skipping the uh, door opening cutscenes. This is Lydia, I believe. Isn't my hair just gorgeous? Of course, I do spend a lot of time on it. I was so bored cooped up in that painting. Now I spend all my time in front of a mirror. It seems to scare people, though, so everything is coming up roses. Sorry for my awful English accent, but to mess up her hair, we want to suck this curtain over here. That'll anger her, and then we start vacuuming her up. Um, we'll also start dropping poisonous mushrooms, which will uh, cause you to stop sucking on the ghost as well as shrink you so you can't use your vacuum for a little bit. Just open up this chest, and we get another key.
Now it's time to go to the Area 1 boss fight. This is the nursery. Just want to cause the old horse thing over here to rock back and forth. Hey, want to play with me? And then he starts going after you, so you just want to take this toy ball and pop him in the head. Ow, you gave me an alley. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small, now go smaller. Small, itchy, tiny, little, wee. Ga, 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 goo, goo, ga. This is Chauncey. Using magic, I guess, he shrunk us down to an incredibly small size, and now we have to fight him. That cry that he does at the beginning of the fight has always, like, it always terrified me when I was little. I'm going to be going through a lot of things in this game where I tell you about stuff that absolutely terrified me as a kid. Anyways, if you want to start sucking him up, and there's no way to do it in one shot. It has to be done across multiple shots. Uh, Speedrunners actually, I forget the exact number, but they but they get them down to a certain HP uh, specifically so that it takes less time to suck them up the second time. He keeps throwing horses at you. And then he takes. Oh, wait, no, never mind. He starts throwing uh, the uh, the balls at you again. There's a lot of innuendos that could be made about this game and you know this boss fight and just everything that has to do with this game. Okay, next time we suck him up, we'll be able to finish the boss. Fight. But yeah, that cry just scared me as a kid. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I was really bad at dealing with horror related stuff and so even stuff like this would just creep me the heck out like uh uh in Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask the uh, happy mask salesman always creeped me out especially the face that he makes like when he realizes you didn't get Majora's Mask back at the beginning of the game and also the shopkeeper from Link's Awakening with the lightning powers he always terrified me as a kid like, he's literally just pixels in, in an 8-bit game, and he still scared me. Anyways, that's the Chauncey fight. You know what? I think I did relatively good. Interesting thing to note is that this chest right here, while it's spawning in, you can walk behind it, and that's how speedrunners clip out of bounds, is by doing that. Anyways, we just want to open up this chest. And we get the heart key. Get another call from Professor Yad. Luigi. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost all contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm, you seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you think? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But ho oh, ho, I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Get it. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portificationizer. This machine lets us turn the ghost you catch into painting. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Hmm? How do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. A 
The ghosts are invisible. So we need to... Press them into visible form. And presto, determined beautiful ghost portrait. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thank you, thanks for your help, Luigi. Now you've caught Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey. So when it comes to the ghost portraits, what you see is different depending on how well you did in the boss fights. The frame of each painting can either be golden, silver, or bronze. Sometimes it can be a bit hard to tell between golden and bronze, but I believe for all three, I got gold. So that's pretty good. Usually for Chauncey, I get silver because sometimes he could be a bit annoying, but I didn't have too much trouble with his boss fight that time. You've caught a total of three ghosts, at least portrait ghosts. And so we also get how much money we made in that area. Got, uh, I'll just let it do all of the adding together and then wait for us to get the full numbers. So in total for Area 1, we got 8,190,000 gold, or Gs, or whatever whatever currency they use. Now if you'll remember, we got a heart key after we defeated Chauncey. And right here we have a door covered in thorns with a heart on it. So we walk up to it. And the thorns disappear. Hmm. Welcome to Area 2. I want to walk in here. Or, or, um, occupied. I had no idea that happened when you opened up that door. I just usually go straight to this door. But I forgot which one I was doing. So, right here we have these grabby ghosts. Which not only make a funny noise when you suck them up, but also can be a bit annoying, and you need to sh use your control stick to shake them off. And here's Egad to tell us that exact thing. So run into a bit of trouble, maybe, maybe you need more training. I did that without taking damage, you liar. There are some ghosts who will try to grab and hold you when that happens. Try moving your control stick back and forth to shake them off. There's your stroll for surprise. I can't talk today, apparently. Anyways, now we got a heart, and that'll lead on over to... There. I was gonna say the name of the room, but I think it adds a lot more suspense when you don't know what room we're going to. It could be anything. It could be... I don't know, I couldn't come up with any examples. Or at least none that sounded cool. We open it up, and it's the ballroom. And these enemies might look familiar to you. These are Shy Guy Ghosts. Suck off their masks, then suck them up. This is the closest we'll ever get to knowing what's behind the Shy Guy's mask. It's just eyes. Everyone knows the trivia that the American Super Mario Bros. 2 isn't actually Super Mario Bros. 2. I guess for those who don't know, the game we got that's called Super Mario Bros. 2 is actually a reskin of a Japanese game called Doki Doki Panic. And the real Super Mario Bros. 2 released in Japan is known as Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Uh, I'll get back to that in a second. Right here we have this dancing couple, I forget the name of them. But we have to wait for them to bow and suck them up. Nope. Okay, I got hit with a poison mushroom. I also love when he's high pitched. I think I got the big pearl, maybe? Ah, I didn't get the big pearl. Or wait. No wait, maybe I did, because I don't think I got any pearls from Chauncey. Never mind. But yeah, uh, the real Mario Bros. 2, known in the US as Mario The Lost Levels, 
uh, was deemed too hard for Americans, and so they just decided to go at it with Doki Doki Panic and just call it Mario 2. Mario. Anyways, enough of my rambling, let's just go through this door already and head into the storage room. Got a speedy spirit. Suck it up. And we don't got any gemstones, unfortunately, but we still got a good amount of money, so I'm not complaining. I don't think there's anything else in this room. Except for this pink puncher. Walk around again. Got you. Now, you'll notice something in the mirror over there. We'll get to that in a second. Sometimes you'll just hear me going ham on the uh, control stick. Ah, oh, that sucks. I was going to try to get them both at once, but I missed one of them and the other one stuck up behind me and grabbed me. But yeah, now that we've done that, you'll notice that there's something over here in the mirror, and if we look at it with the Game Boy Horror... Don't push. Well, as the classic meme goes, this sign can't stop me because I can't read. Ooh, new area. Danger. Got another button. Who's there? Who deserve, disturbs our sleep? Oh, it's Luigi. Look, guys, Luigi's finally gonna do what we did to your brother, only worse. It's on his back. If he gets pulled across 3,000, everybody scram. So that was the king of the booze, King Boo. But even he's scared of Egad's inventions. Luigi, are you okay? That was them. Those were the old, those are the ones who released all of the ghosts from the paintings in my gallery. Those fiends. I wondered where King Boo and his gang had gone, so they were hiding in the mansion all along. Thanks for flushing them out, flushing them out, Luigi. I'm tickled you found them, but perhaps it would have been better if you hadn't well let every single one escape. Just a thought. Ah, well, water under the bridge. Anyway, you should probably come back to the lab for a sec. So I think this is the, one of the only times where we head back to the lab in the middle of, you know, an area. Except for, I think, when you save and quit. I think that also brings you back to the lab. But for story purposes, this is the only time, I think. I've been waiting for you, young Luigi. Your brother must have been t taken by that king of booze. Poor fellow. Oh, now, don't talk crazy. They're not going to eat the man. But what became of him, hmm? Odd that he hasn't come back. Common theory holds that booze grow in strength with them when they travel in numbers. They must somehow combine their powers, too. Their power likely overwhelmed your brother. If your aim is to save Mario, there's but one way to do it. Capture each boo and slowly weaken the group's power. But boos, as their name implies, like to hide and then jump out to scare people. You've got your work cut out finding them. <laughs> Don't get all down in the mouth, my boy. That Game Boy Horror I gave you has a secret function. I knew it would come in handy one day, so I developed it secretly. I call it the Boo Radar. The Boo Radar will flash red when something around like a boo is hidden nearby. Use it to search everywhere, Luigi. Alright now, Sonny. Don't go tuckering yourself out. Now, relax. And just try to get those boos one at a time. The trick is using the control stick and the C stick together. Don't forget that now. Right here we have some sort of lump in the table. And it's a boo. I am Bamboo, if you please. So here's the funny thing about boos. Every single one of their names is a pun. Looking for me? Bootha. Like Bertha. Game Boo Advance. Taboo. Turboo. I've already found five boos. You're a boo snaring maniac. I understand you're worried about your brother, young feller. But take her easy. You still have plenty of time still. Or, you have plenty of time still, so try to keep your shirt on. 
Why not go to the washroom and splash some water on your face? You'll feel much better, believe you me. Boolicious. This is Boolala. You are Game Boo, just a classic Game Boo. So, before this was occupied, but now... Well, it's still occupied, but we're able to go in now. I had dropped something really important to the toilet. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. Hey, you're right. No point in crying over spilt milk. I'll, I suppose I'll just flush that old worry away. Yep, I'll just let it swirl on down into the depths and let happiness refill my life. I'll get the key. Anyways, this is the... Come on, game. Fortune Teller's Room. You want to flash a light on this? Actually, no, wait, hold on. Don't, don't, don't. I guess I'll do this first. This is Madame Clairvoya. What do you seek of me? Who are you? I am Madame Clairvoya, seer of dropped items. Possessions of other people awaken vibrations in my spirit. If you find someone's dropped items, you should bring them to me. I'll show you the extent of my vision. So we'll have to do that later. Tell me the future. Oh, Haram. No, I feel no spiritual vibrations right now. This is the mirror room. So we have a mirror right here, and we can only see the ghosts in the reflection. If you want, you can also use where the uh, dust appears when they spawn in as an indicator of where they are. Oh, we got two. Come on, can I get two at a time? Ah, gosh dang it. I might not be able to suck this one. Oh, I got him sucked up. Suck up this guy too. And that should be it. No, there's more. I think it's just one or two more. Yeah, I think these are the final two. I'm not doing very well with these grabby guys. Now that he's down, that should be it. Yep. And there's that chest right there in the middle. Kung Boo. We open up this and we get a... Fire Medallion? I forget the exact names for these things all the time. What have you found there? Let's take a look at that. Oh, uh, it's a fire element metal. Okay, so it's I'll just call it the fire metal. Metal. Now you can use the fire element. Yes, sir. With that, you can catch fire element ghosts. Hmm, what's a fire elemental ghost? You ask. Why they show up whenever you see them a fire, my boy? They're ghosts of fire itself. If you approach a flame, they'll be surprised by your presence and leap out into the air. Then you vacuum them up right away. After that, you can expel fire with the L button. You can melt ice, light candles, and do all kinds of stuff. A meter will appear down at the bottom of the screen, so keep an eye on how much element you have left, okay, fella? You may have to use the fire element to defeat some ghosts. Keep that in mind, Sonny. Don't say I never warned you. And that opens up this door. And right in here, we also have some candles, so we're going to use those. And with that, we get this key. Wait. Is the key up there? Oh no, it's over here. Sorry. I knew it was on one of those little pedestal things. So we want to go into the door on the right here because that's where the next key leads to. This is the laundry room. We want to suck up this punching ghost. that. Now, I don't want to open up this washing machine yet. You can if you want to, but I'm going to wait until I've completely cleared out this room so I can explain what's in there. And there we go, that should be the last ghost. Oh, there's a green chest over there. Green chests typically have a bunch of money in them. Let's see if this follows that trend. Yes, it does. Got a couple of gold bars, a bunch of bills, a bunch of coins. And now, now I want to open up this washing machine. 
You found Mario's hat, and it's been laundered recently. Mario. Even played the Mario 64 Stargate sound effect. Hmm. Anyways, as previously mentioned, Madame Clairvoya is a seer for dropped items. So you bring a dropped item to her, and she tells of the future, or the present, or whatever it is. Hmm. What is this? Why, if it isn't Mario... Mario's hat. It's so clean as if someone just washed it. Sorry, sometimes I like to be a, add a little drama, you know. Hmm? Just one moment. Did I just say Mario? Could it be that Mario? Ah, I see now. Well, I see everything, so I saw it before. But now I really see it. So, you are the brother of the famous Mario. You've come to this place to find him. Well, aren't you a good little brother? Hack ha 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 for... Excuse me, I don't laugh much. Oh, they come, now the spirits come. Come, spirits of power, come, spirits of sight. Show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan, use your darkling power to show us all you could, I mean can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits comes, show us what we seek. Oh, Horum, I see that your Mario lives. Well, he is not in the spirit world, but one cannot say he is alive. Ha 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 ha! Excuse me, sorry. Where is he? Where is he now? Ah, the spirits fall silent. Uh, this this is all I can tell for you now. Bring bring to me another clue, and I shall show you your brother to you. This clue no longer speaks to us. But first, I'm gonna. You want to examine this mouse hole? And for some reason, that makes it suck you right into it. There are a bunch of gold bats here, which, unlike their mice counterparts, don't give you a bunch of money. They're just annoying. So you just want to open up all of the chests. And these are elemental ghosts. Those are ice elemental ghosts, and if you hit them with fire, they get stunned. They can't be stunned with your normal flashlight. So just use fire. You can technically just keep using fire on them until they die, but it's a lot more cost-effective to just use fire for a little bit to stun them and maybe get them down a couple of health points. But once you finally have them stunned, it's you should probably start sucking them up with your vacuum. Nothing in there. Got a ghost. Got a ton of money, and if you think that's a ton of money, just wait until we finally clear, finally clear out this room. We're gonna get a green chest. Oh, and hey, some more money. This hidden room is just all about money. Gumbo, like gumbo. I'm gonna open this up, and we get a ruby, or er, yeah, a ruby and an emerald. Oh, and a sapphire, too. I didn't even see that. Got these candles, and suddenly, it's the butler. Fire, 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 run away. And so he'll try to run back to his room, and we need to beat him there. I guess you could technically get there after him, but it's better to just run there before him so you can catch him. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Also, this door at the top, another fake door. Now we just wait. I guess this is a good point to tell uh, to tell a story. Uh, the day I'm recording this, September 12th, is actually my birthday, and we just had a birthday party for me yesterday. We went to this like arcade and pizza place, and there's this one machine where it, it had a bunch of balls that you had to press a button. You inserted two coins. And then you pressed a button and it dropped all of the balls, and there are these six spots that you had to get your balls into. Based on how many balls you got into these certain spots, you got a better prize. And it had this jackpot where the more people inserted coins and failed, the higher the jackpot got. And so eventually, it was at something like 461, I think. And I, uh, I was all out of money, and I was just like, eh, I won't try that again. And then one of my cousins was like, uh, or a couple of my cousins were just like, hey, we have a few coins left over that we're not going to use. You can go ahead and use them. And I was like, oh, that's <laughs> that's cool. It's like a little mini birthday present. And I inserted coins into the machine, and I pressed the button, and I got the jackpot. And I got like 461 tickets. In total, I think I got like 
581 tickets or something like that. Anyways, moral of the story is my luck is very, my luck can be very bad, un but sometimes it can be incredible. Anyways, this is the conservatory. Now I want you to listen to this and let me know if you recognize this song. My name is Melody. People call me the spectral beauty of the Ivory Keys. What a stirring performance. I haven't been so charmed by a piece for ages. You must have a delicate ear for music. Would you like to listen to my piano sonata? Well, here I go. By the way, that song was featured in a famous game. Do you know which game? Exactly right, you got it! Very impressive, I guess I needed to hold back with you. Would you care to do battle with my lovely music sheets? And now we have to suck up all of her music sheets and then we can actually fight her. So another song that was supposed to play there was a Totaka song, a song that I talked about in the first episode where it was an easter egg that appeared in a bunch of the uh, a bunch of classic 90s and early 2000s Nintendo games. Please don't... Okay, thank god I got that all in one go. This is Boomio. Boo number 13. Of course, as always, we get a key. And I think we're actually getting pretty close to the end of Area 2. Okay. Ah. I was about to explain something, but then I slipped. So, there's a couple of things that I need to get. First of all, there's a speedy spirit in this room. You want to open up this, uh, this cabinet on the left. Okay, got it. I thought I was going to slip on the banana peel, but thankfully, we got that. We got the emerald. Talking about emeralds again, it's reminding me of my Sonic Adventure LP, but no, that's... We've already finished that. There are a couple other Sonic games that I want to let's play on this channel. Uh, oh. Hold on. There's a cheese piece over there. I also keep forgetting to, uh, check the hearts of each of the... Uh, boss ghosts. Suck up that gold golden mouse, and... Hooray! <laughs> now, for this boss, you want to make sure you, you have fire. You want to light up all of these candles. And that'll show off our boss ghost, Mr. Lugs. And he has these waiters that come by. You want to... First of all, let me... This is a bit hectic. Looks... Oh, wait. Oh. Nope. Look at the heart. No one can see me in this darkness. No one, no one, no... No one. Well, he's filled. Oh, wait, I guess some of this was L. So we want to suck up these waiters that keep coming by and giving them food. Ah, come on. So in order to get the uh, waiters to spawn, a good way to get them to spawn is to suck up all of Mr. Lugs' food, because then the waiters have to come by, and I keep missing them! Dang it. All of his, all of his food. Okay, I'm just gonna wait here for the waiter. Oh, or I guess the boss battle is already starting. I didn't realize you could start this early just by sucking up all of his food. I thought that's how you're supposed to get the waiters to appear. But yeah, he keeps shooting fireballs out of his mouth, which 
Listen, I'm not a doctor, but that doesn't seem healthy. Yeah, you just keep walking back and forth whenever he spits out a fireball, just turn around. Or whenever he's about to. And then once he gets tired out, or tuckered out, you want to start sucking him up. And you have a bit of trouble because he keeps bringing you against this, uh, against this table right here. And whenever you bump into furniture, then you don't... The, or then you stop sucking them up. On. Ah, gosh dang it. That was so close. Mr. Lugs isn't even the boss ghost. He's the final, not final boss of this area. But this should be it, unless this somehow messes up for me. Okay, good. That's over. You know what, I'll get the money first this time. I think that's a diamond? Yeah, silver diamond, I'm pretty sure that is. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Boodacious. Like, bodacious. Whenever I hear surfers speak, I always think of Super Macho Man from Punch-Out. This is the speed, or this is the kitchen, sorry. The speedy spirit is, I think, in one of these kitchen appliances. That's not a speedy spirit. No, wait, hold on. I think that might be the final ghost. That, I think there's only one ghost in here. So. No. I messed this up. I might lose the speedy spirit. Oh, nope, I got him. Come on, Sapphire. As long as I get the Sapphire, I'm happy. I might get punched in the face here, though. Ow. <laughs> Suck up all that money. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only one ghost in this room, so that's why I started freaking out. Because, yeah, it immediately lights up, and then once it lights up, you can't get the speedy spirit anymore. First of all, before I get that, I'm going to set this on fire, because that gives you a ruby. And then we get the water metal. Hey now, Luigi! Now what have you st stumbled across? Oh, this time it's a water element metal. Now you can use the water element. My research shows that these particular element ghosts leave their water watery dwellings whenever you approach. You know the drill. Vacuum them up. Use the L button to expel them once they are vacuumed. If you press the L button all the way in, you can shoot out all a big ball of water. I hear that these are there are some ghosts who can be defeated only with water, actually. So also remember water. Uh, actually, also remember that water has purifying properties, so use it well. Don't get too caught up with your new squirt gun, Luigi. Booligan. Spray this with water. And then once the smoke goes away... I'll go ahead and refill on water. Once the smoke goes away, you're free to enter the door. First, you want to water this thing over here. This looks weird, but it's actually a plant. And we're going to come back and water that a bunch so we can get a bunch of money later. This is actually right below the second floor balcony. Right over here is Spooky the dog. And you want to fill up his bowl with water. And then look away, I think. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? There we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. Now who's going to start following you? He's going to start following you because you have water and he wants that. And eventually all of his barking... For the love of dirt, keep that yappa dog quiet! Or whatever he says. Uh, that's Mr. Bones, the owner of Spooky. Want to suck him up. It's weird, he's a skeleton ghost. So, a skeleton was alive and then died. Once you suck up his owner, he'll leave a behind a bone, 
And then Spooky will be attracted to that bone because he's a dog. I don't know why I said attracted. That sounds weird. He'll go after the bone because he's hungry. And that'll leave his heart open. And we get him. Having a bit of trouble with getting big pearls, but you know what? Doesn't matter too much as long as we're getting a bunch of secrets. Also, collecting all 50 boos, while not necessary, will help you get the uh, best ending with as much money as you can get. That's why we're getting a bunch of money, by the way. So now you want to examine the doghouse. That'll bring you over to the graveyard. This is where the final boss will be. First, you want to... Well, not final boss of the game, just final boss of this area. You want to shake this, and you'll get a ruby. Now, what you want to do next is... I believe you get something for shaking a bunch of these graves. That's what you get. You get ambushed. Uh, these skeletons, while they look like Mr. Bones, are not Mr. Bones. They're just other skeleton ghosts. These guys are like dry bones, but they're humans. Once you suck all of them up, that gravestone at the top seems to be of interest. Just make sure there's nothing in here. Oh, there's a heart in there. You might want to need that if you're low on health uh, before this battle, because I forget. I don't know the consensus on this, but I think this is a pretty tough boss fight in the eyes of a lot of people. Let's begin. This is Bogmire, who also terrified me as a kid. I'll admit it, all of the, like, final boss ghost of the area ghosts terrified me as a kid. You wanna... There, he has these shadows, these shadow creatures, and you want to suck them up, and then shoot them back at the real Bogmire, which is pink. You just gotta keep walking around looking for him. And he eventually appears. Suck one of these guys up again. Come on. Up here. And then... Okay. Okay, I think the next hit should be the last. Okay, never mind. Yeah, sometimes you can have a bit of trouble with him. And if you're not that great at aiming your shots, then this can... Like that, right there. I got a bit too overconfident and then sucked at that. <laughs> Get it sucked because I'm using a vacuum. Okay, there we go. Bogmire is down. We're halfway through the game. This was a bit of a longer episode, but it was worth it because we got to see a lot more stuff. Luigi. Luigi, can you hear me? Good to hear you're still okay. I lost your signal when that lightning struck. Hmm, that was some battle you had there. Why don't you come on back to the lab? What? You think the lightning damaged the Poltergeist 3000? Don't worry about it. Even in that, even if that lightning had cooked your goose, the Poltergeist 3000 wouldn't even have a scratch. <laughs> so yeah, Poltergeist 3000 is pretty powerful. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you got a vacuum full of ghosts there, what do you say? Put them through the old ghost portificationizer. Yeah. 
ghosts are invisible. So we need to press them into visible forms. And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. I honestly did better than I thought. Hmm. Well, I managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. Now you've got Area 2, Mr. Lugs. Got a silver. Floating World Lindas, that's what they're called. Melody Pianissima. Shivers. Spooky. And Bogmire. Nine ghosts so far. Yeah, that's in total. We got everything up. Got 9 million this area, and 29 million total. Or wait, no, that's not 9 million for this area. That's in terms of pearls. We got 29 million in total. That's the main thesis statement. We have the courtyard back here, and we have a few uh, pieces of interest for you. you want to stand next to this well and listen very closely. You hear that? If you're not sure what that is, let's go ahead and show it to you. Under the well, or bottom of the well. We now know what has happened to Mario. And, if you can't tell, we can see who's behind it all. Anyways, we get a key from that 0 HP ghost. That's like the only 0 HP ghost you need to kill in this game. So for this uh, little outhouse right here, you want to stand back a bit and then start using your vacuum on it. That'll shake it and open it. If you don't do that, then the door will whack you in the face. But we've got a toad. You saw him, didn't you? How could they do that to Mario? When I saw him like that, I completely lost it and ran away through through the mansion looking for a hiding place. When I was running, though, I did happen to notice that Mario left some of his things lying around the place. A hat, a glove, a shoe, a letter, and a star. I saw five, five items all together. I'd go collect them for you if I could remember where they were. Yeah, I probably should have picked some up. Leave it to me. Huh? Really? You'll find all Mario's items for me? Yippee skip yahoo! Oh, thanks so much, Luigi. We of course save. And now we want to enter here. If you run on this treadmill here, you'll get a key. So that's also something. And there's also, of course, a boss fight right here. This is Biff Atlas, I think? Look at this buffness, I'm huge! How how do you like to be my punching bag weakling? Actually, he's gonna be our punching bag. Ow. No, I guess we're his punching bag. He's gonna walk over here, punch him again. He's gonna start charging at us. I have to dodge him real quick. And then once we hit him a third time, his heart will appear. And this is a bit tough because, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff all over the place. And so you can have a bit of trouble with... Suck. That was my bad, that was my bad. I let go of R2 soon. 
I shouldn't let go of R at all, but I thought that... I thought that he wasn't going to get vacuumed properly, so I let go for a second without realizing that I already had him perfectly where I wanted him. And I'm going to lose him this time. Yeah. Just five left, though. I'll probably have a bronze on this one, but... Eh. There we go, finally. This is all lit up. Ooh, we've got a money chest. It's been a little bit since I've played this game, so I don't remember all of the chests and stuff like that. A diamond! Neato. Boo regard. This isn't Mario's letter. Give it to me. I will read it at once. Um, sure, it's okay. I'm a licensed letter reader. What, what? Hmm, let's see. L-O-O-K-O-U-T-F-O-R-B-O-O-S-L-U-I-G-I. -I. Is that all? Not a novelist, your Mario. This must have been with him in quite a hurry. Oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come spirits of power. Come spirits of sight. Show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orbs and my clan. Use your dark own power to show us all you could. I mean, can show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits comes. Show us what we seek. Mario's in prison, but where? Oh, where is he being held? Just a painting. Your Mario's been imprisoned within a painting. My orb shows an odd altar. And come on, you stupid orb. Yes, above it, your Mario, trapped in a painting. Ah, I cannot concentrate. The spirits are leaving me. If you wish to know more of your Mario, bring more of his dropped items. Your ears don't deceive you. Yes, that is the crackling of fire up here. We want to go ahead and wash that all out. Wait for the smoke to clear. And then once it finally clears, we can open up the door to the tea room. Right over here, we have a new mechanic, which is these little flippy things that'll flip you up to the ceiling. This makes fighting ghosts a bit harder, but it makes it easier to reach some stuff. So I'll try to fight the ghosts while up here. I've never actually fought ghosts while on the ceiling, I usually just flip back down to the floor. But I'm doing better at that than I thought I would. Gosh dang it, I forgot about the golden mouse. Okay. Uh, missed one golden mouse. There is a golden mouse, I think, behind a table. But here's the ice metal. Hey now, Luigi, what have you found there? Let me see it. Oh, uh, it's uh, an ice metal. Now you can use the ice element. Ice metal elemental ghosts are found only in chilly places. You probably find them in refrigerators and cold areas like that. My research shows that they come out of hiding when you approach. Use the L button to expel ice element once you vacuum up one of the ghosts. If you press the L button all the way in, you can shoot out a frigid lump of ice. Yes, sir, when water gets cold, it freezes, right? Ice can be very effective against water. You could use it on water ghosts, for example. Even a hot bath would get cold pretty quickly if you iced it down. That's actually a hint for a ghost that we're about to see. Very convenient thing you found there. Yeah. Mr. Boo Jangles. Oh. oh. Here's a fire ghost. You have to use water on this one. Hopefully there aren't any other elemental ghosts that need to... That need an element. Did that. Hit him with the flashlight, suck him up, please be over. Okay, that room is over, and we got some money, so hey, it wasn't all bad. Hey, that's actually quite a bit. I thought it was only going to be like a couple of bills. And, and some coins, of course. Okay, now, now I have to go back and get the ice. Okay, now that we've got the ice, we're going to head on over to... Or maybe... Can I go to the right place yet? Because if not, the whole ice debacle was... Well, it only saved me a couple seconds. Okay, no, I can actually go in here. But we want to pull back this curtain. Make her sneeze. And then we can start vacuuming her. Ah, okay. Yeah, boss fights in tighter, more cramped spaces can be a bit tougher. You make her sneeze. Flashlighter, vacuumer, and she is done. I forget her exact name, but 
There's a key. That leads over there. But I'll get to that in a second because there's also a boss ghost right over here. I'm doing things a bit out of order, but as long as I get everything that I need, then everything should be good. Speedy spirit in here. Don't want to bump into the uh, into the chair there because it'll knock you back. I don't think it does any actual damage. Nope, it's just annoying. But here is Nana, and you want to knock all of her yarn balls out of this bowl, I guess. I don't know why she has yarn balls in a bowl, unless that's something that you have to do with when it comes to knitting that I just don't understand because I don't knit. The last ball over here. And sometimes they'll just despawn and go back over there. Here, here it is. Also, also, Nana has laser eyes, so be careful of that. Oh, no, please. No, not. Okay, thankfully the poison mushroom didn't affect us. We get our first big pearl in a while. I forget exactly when the last one was. But we got a key. Booger. It's the... Billiards Room. So, the whole gimmick with his boss is that I keep accidentally getting pool balls, which is good because the whole gimmick with his boss fight is he's gonna hit these pool balls or er, billiards balls. I'm always confused about the distinction between billiards and pool. I don't know if they're the same thing or something like that. But anyways, after you throw three of these things at him... Ah, crud! Dang it! Okay, I'm definitely not getting a gold on him. Yeah, I forgot if I had to flash him with my flashlight or just suck him up. I guess it was just suck him up. But now we have to wait for him to go around. Okay. I don't need to use the flashlight, just use the vacuum to set him up. I'm unfortunately not getting a big pearl, but you know what? I haven't played this game in a little bit, it's been a little, little while since my last recording session, so I apologize if I'm a bit rusty at this game. Fun fact, I'm recording this in September, I think today's date is September 20th, but uh, I'm uploading this in early October. Each of my... this Let's Play and my next Let's Play are gonna have reasons as to why they're uploaded in certain months. So, I hope my Luigi's Mansion Let's Play ends before November, or at least before late November, because my next Let's Play- oh hey, a diamond! But yeah, my next Let's Play is going to start in late November, because that's when it takes place in late November. This is Boo Hoo! Sorry if I sound a bit weird, if I'm a bit louder than normal or quieter than normal, or if I slur my words a bit more. But I'm currently dealing with a sickness, and I can't hear out of my left ear. Thankfully, no, I don't think any permanent damage is being done to my ear, but... But, you know, it still sucks because typically I have one ear in my headphones and one ear not wearing the headphones so that I can hear myself and know that I'm speaking properly. But I've been really wanting to play this game, and I didn't just want to wait till the sickness died down. So... Apologies for that, if I suck at talking. Forgot to mention, this is the projector room, and if you suck off the, uh, projector thing here, then you get a little poster of a boo that says, Get out of here. Can I get three? 
at the same time. Ah, dang it. I flashed three of them with my flashlight, but I only got one. These are probably the most annoying ghosts to deal with, because if you just let one roam around, then it can sneak up behind you and ruin your chances of getting a ghost. Good what this is. Oh yeah, it's Mario's glove. Found Mario's glove. Ew, it's a little sweaty. Shambu. This is the twins room. You wanna spin down spin around this helicopter mobile thing. And it can be a bit finicky. So once you spin it around enough times, these boys appear. Hey, mister, what are you doing over there all by yourself? Hey, why don't you play hide-and-seek with us? Ha 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 Okay, let's play. Yay! Okay, we're gonna hide now. Wait outside. Okay, you can come in now. So, you can tell which box they're in by using the Boltergust on the box. And if it doesn't shake, they're not in there. But if it shakes... There's one in there. Not bad, mister. We open this one up. Hey, that's not right. Play fair, cheater. Now it's time to fight against them. So if, what you have to do is you have to suck up uh, the vehicle that they're riding on. So I guess I'm going with this car one first. The airplane one drops bombs, so he can be a bit annoying. So be careful with that. I typically like to go for him first, but I just couldn't get him that first time around. Both are pretty annoying when it comes to it, but or when it comes down to it. Okay, got him done. <sighs> yeah, I'm probably not gonna get probably not gonna get a big pearl here either. I wonder if that, oh, that was a big pearl. Oh, sweet. Nice. And I think, unless I'm wrong, I think that's another Mario item. Yeah, that's Mario's shoe. Smells like Mario's feet. There we go. Burris. Ah. So first you want to get this fire. And then you want to head up to the third floor or second floor? Okay, it's the second floor. You want to go into this room. And this is the Astral Hall. Now you want to go into the room on the right. Hmm. That's pretty weird. Let's try that again. Huh. So the way you want to do this is... Let me just check these just in case there's something in them. You know what? I'll take that because I'm, I'm not low on health, but, you know, I'm not 100%, so that part could help. You want to light all of the candles in this room. When suddenly... The room locks and we get a bunch of ghosts. We got a golden ghost, which we haven't seen in a while. We got a shy guy ghost, which I know we haven't seen in a while. We haven't seen them since the ballroom, I think. Is this just gonna be gold ghosts and shy guy ghosts? I'm just gonna like... Yeah, I guess it's just... Oh, no, it's a grabber ghost. No! Ah! I don't know if there's a more annoying ghost in the game than the grabber ghosts. I, I guess, uh, I guess the zero HP ghosts out in the hall are a bit annoying, but, you know, the grabber ghost actually affects you when you're trying to catch ghosts. The zero HP ghost in the hall, Boonswoggle. This is the observatory.
I like how the ghosts sing along to the Luigi's Mansion theme along with Luigi. But anyways, what you want to do is you want to look through this telescope. And suddenly, the entire wall disappears and now we have access to the moon. This part can be a bit tricky. Oh, come on. Yes, okay, got it one shot. We blow up the moon. If I had a nickel for every single time a game on the GameCube in 2001 blew up half the moon, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Mario's Star. That's the last Mario item, I believe. Yep, all five. What is this? If it isn't Mario's glove, aha, still damp with the sweat of the living. Oh, oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits comes. Show us what we seek. Listen, can you hear it? The inner voice of your sweet, beloved Mario. Oh, horrors. What is this? A king? King Boo? What is this, King Boo? I do not understand just what he means, but beware of King Boo. This is what your brother wishes to say to you. Oh yes, a Boo who wears a crown, I see. This is King Boo. So, he is the one who has captured your Mario. I can say no more, the spirits leave me even now. Mm, what is this object you have here? Show it please to Madame Clairvoyo. What is this? If it isn't Mario's shoe, why the soul is so worn as if he walked as if he's walked a thousand miles. Oh, they come. Now the spirits of sight show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan, show it. your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean, can show us this Mario. Light of the spirits come, show us what we seek. Aha, I can hear it. Your brother Mario, he cries out for you. What, the power of the boos? You wish to tell us something of their mysterious boo power? Oh, harum, the boos do indeed have strange powers. When they gather in numbers, their power grows stronger. They do fear, but they do fear your mighty Poltergeist 3000. Ugh, I fear that I have only enough power within me to read one more of your brother's dropped items. My strength ebbs away. Luckily for us, Mario only has one item left. So please, to Madame Clairvoya, Mario's star, what an otherworldly beauty. Could, I mean can, show us this Mario, show us what we seek. Okay. Ah, the spirits return to me. I see, I see, I see your dear Mario. The scene appears before me. What is this? Bowser. How can this be? I see the hideous form of Bowser. Is Bowser somewhere in this mansion? I cannot believe it, and yet I see it. I thought that Mario had soundly defeated Bowser. Has King Boo somehow revived Bowser? This could be horrible. Well, for you. Ugh. Ah, no, the powers leave me, the spirits depart. This is all I can show you, Luigi. That was the last of my power, but I have given them wor words to what the spirits have shown, so I can return to my painting satisfied. Send me there now, you vac vacuum-wielding rogue. Ah, finally, I can return to my in peace to my painting. Sweet happiness and oil. I thank you, I thank you, kind Luigi. So yeah, now we got to suck her up, and... Uh, she doesn't resist too much, but sometimes she can drop poisonous mushrooms, which is like, I'm doing what you want, you goon. But there we go, we got the big orb. And now we can actually get the boo in here, as well as this chest. But yeah, that's the last we'll see of Madame Clairvoya. Hi, I'm Luigi, I mean Booigi. So in Luigi's Mansion, we've got Luigi, Booigi, and Gooigi. Anyways, up here on the third floor, we want to head through this door, because that's the one that we have the key for. So sorry if the audio sounds a bit different, this is just me in the future filling in, because my commentary here was not that great, and so I thought I'd go ahead and put my thoughts into more precise points. Anyways, one of the things for me 
is when it comes to visual novels, I enjoy visual novel games, but it's but I don't typically have the money to constantly be buying them. And so, you know, it's kind of hard to find a YouTuber that plays the game at like a solid pace and, you know, doesn't go too fast or too slow and doesn't like immediately solve the puzzles and stuff like that. And also doesn't take two hours to solve a puzzle. And so I have some trouble with that. And you might just be saying, just watch a non-commentary Let's Play. And yeah, I agree with that, that that's probably the best way, but there's just something with about my brain that just doesn't go well with that. Just for some reason, when it's just all text, my brain just doesn't see it as too interesting if I'm not playing the game myself. I don't know if there's something about it, if just like pressing a button to move the text forward just does something that makes me start enjoying a game more, but eh, I don't know. Anyways, here's a key. So that's awesome. We're going to go ahead and use that over in that room. That room actually is where the area boss for this is, and we'll get to that in a second. Now, you want to walk up to this door, and there's a certain amount of booze you need, so I hope you've been collecting all of the booze. When you walk up to this door, if you don't have enough booze, a boo will appear and basically blow you back to the start of the mansion, and you'll have to go through the mansion looking for booze so you can get enough. And I remember that scene really scaring me as a kid because I didn't collect all of the booze, and I don't know, just a lot of things terrified me in this game that, I don't know, looking back at, back at it now, it didn't terrify me too much. Uh, now, you notice that the boo radar is going off like crazy. If we go over to the left, That scaredy cat Luigi has made it this far. Oh, we're so frightened. I guess it's our turn then. Alright, booze, let's assume our real form. But first, how about giving him a little scare? This is Boo Lossus. This is the last ghost that Egad captured before everything went down. Now you want to pop him on that statue right there. You want to suck up this ice thingy. Hold on. You want to make sure you've got ice in your poltergust. And you want to use that to freeze the booze and then suck him up. Now, this boss fight can be a bit of a pain, especially as you continue to go later on. And the boosts start out smarting you, and it sucks. But yeah, you just want to keep doing this. In the PAL version of the New Game Plus mode called the Haunted Mansion, uh, if the way that this boss fight went down is completely different. I believe you had to ride around on a poltergust, and that's how you defeated him really cool and kind of like a precursor to the Poltergust 4000 from Mario Kart DS and I haven't played it but I think you can also ride on the Poltergust 3001 from Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I need to play the Mario and Luigi games. I got like a little bit into Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I got to the place that's at like the waterfall and I didn't get much further and I played a bit of Bowser's Inside Story and I got like decently into it, but I didn't get too much into it. I need to play through a lot of the uh, Mario RPG games. The only one that I think I've beaten is Paper Mario 2. But anyways, now Bulosses is getting extremely small, and he's gonna bound towards you. And also, quick note, 
yes, all of the boos and boo losses do count towards your boo counter, so it's not as daunting of a number as you may think, uh, but it can still be pretty annoying. I'm just gonna... Okay, got him. Okay. Three boos left, I think. Gotta hit you. Ah, come on. Okay, got you. Okay, just one boo left. Now he's just gonna roam around like crazy. Oh, got him. There we go. That can be a, a very annoying boss fight. So thankfully I was able to beat it when I did. Once you beat Bulasis, our boo counter is up to 39, so that means just 11 boos left. We open this up, and that's the end of Area 3. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, what a relief. That white mist interrupted your signal. Hmm, you seem to have done some serious work there. Why don't you come on back to the lab? We can have dinner while we gaze at these ghost paintings. Tonight I'll make an old family recipe. Pickled dandelions with barnacles and a diesel marinade. Whenever I hear of a food in a video game, I always wonder if someone has made it and tried it before, so... I'll try googling and seeing if someone has ever made that. I forget the name for it. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say we put them through the old ghost portificationizer? I'm very curious to see how I did this time around, because I feel like I didn't do that well, but maybe I'll surprise myself. The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible form, and presto, turn into beautiful ghost portraits. I'm surprised I got a silver on Biff Atlas. You know what, I'm fine with that. I'm good with that too. Golden on Nana, I think. Golden on the twins. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thank you for your help, Luigi. So yeah, Madame Clairvoya, we got a gold. Biff Atlas, we got a silver, which is better than I expected. We got gold for Nana. We got a silver for Miss Petunia. We got a silver for Slim Bankshot. We got a gold for Henry and Norville. And we've got a silver for Bulasis, so no bronzes, I think. That's pretty cool. Total of 16 ghosts. Yeah, the red diamond is not worth anything. I think it's worth a total of one coin, so that's pretty funny. 53 million, that's not bad. Grimini, what a calamity. The, elect the electricity has gone out. The lightning strike just must just now must have caused a blackout. I can't see anything in this blasted darkness. The ghosts will have a run of the place in the dark. Be careful, Luigi. So now we're during now we're in the middle of a blackout. But as you can see, the ghosts definitely have a run of the place. They are just freaking out. That sounded so ominous behind me. Anyways, now we want to head through this hallway, which looks identical to the other hallway. And I think there's even a window over here. Yep. So we want to go in here, and you hear a phone ringing. We answer it. Hello? Hello? May I ask who is speaking, please? It's Bowser. Eek! And they just hang up. 
head on over here. Hello, may I ask who is speaking, please? Luigi? This is just the test text that you get if you answer Luigi. Whoa, it's me, Toad. I don't know what I would have done if a ghost had answered. Anyway, we have a terrible problem. The lightning caused a blackout all over the house. What should we do? We're really, really afraid of the dark. Isn't there a way you can turn the lights back on? Huh? No, we don't know how to turn them on. We were hoping you'd know. Oh, me. Oh, me. Oh, but now that I think about it, I do remember seeing a large breaker switch somewhere in the basement. So yeah, that's basically your explanation as to why the toads aren't here, and as well as what you're supposed to do next. Hello? Howdy. Hello? Oh, sorry to surprise you, my boy. It's me, Professor E. Gad. Sorry for disturbing you. I know I usually contact you by the Game Boy Horror, but I thought I'd try this phone since you were in the room. You know that all the ghosts avoid the light and hide in the dark. But listen now, there's one ghost who fled from the gallery who only hides in the darkest places. His name is Uncle Grimly. He, if he's on the loose, then now may be your only chance to get him. Why don't you try looking for him before you get those lights back on? Might be wise. He's old for a ghost, but it's only made him more cautious. I do know, though, that for some reason he tends to prefer rooms with mirrors. Uh-oh, the ghosts are starting to appear and approach your position. Be careful, Luigi. And so now we can't escape unless we fight all of the ghosts. So, you, you might be thinking, you may hear that and think, a room with mirrors? Oh, I must go to the mirror room. Which, that would be the logical conclusion, but no, we actually have to go to the wardrobe room from area one. So I'm just going to fight all of these ghosts, and then I'll meet you guys back at the wardrobe room to fight Uncle Grimly. Okay, now we're in the the uh, wardrobe room. And this is Uncle Grimly. You want to wait for his heart to show? Then suck him up. It's a pretty simple boss. He's basically just like Neville, except... He's in this room now. Okay, and that's all of Uncle Grimly. He'll give you a key. And this key is going to lead down to the... The Breaker Room. You might be saying, oh, but wasn't that already unlocked? Yes, but I guess the ghosts just found the key and decided to lock it, so we got the key back, and now we're going to go unlock it and light this place up. Sounds like we're going to blow it up. No, we're just going to actually turn the lights on. Okay, let's turn this thing back on. And with that, we have a boo in this room, but we've also got a key. Boo B Hatch. This guy is 200 HP. Come on. Ah, okay, this is where the game gets extremely annoying. This is probably going to be my least favorite part. You know what, I'm just going to cover this in this episode. This episode is getting a little long, but I'm probably going to cut a bunch of stuff out, so I'll just do this to make it a little longer. This is the cellar, a.k.a. my least favorite room in the entire game. So first what we want to do is I think there's something in here. I think there's a, uh, is it in here? No, that's, there's a crate somewhere in here. No, no, no. Gosh dang it, you stupid, ah. Well, I missed that speedy spirit. I'll let you guys know what I missed in there. I hope it wasn't a gem, I hope it was just money, but knowing my luck, it was probably like the last sapphire we needed or something like that. Okay, but here, let me explain why this room sucks. So, first let me just... These pink puncher things are now my second least ghost in the game. So first let me get this key. Second, there's a boo in this room. And I'm going to wait to get that for a little bit. So. There's a boo in the hallway to the left here. Or I guess not. Okay. Uh, let me. 
This game is very frustrating and I haven't even explained why it's frustrating yet. Boo repeats. Okay. Please. Okay, so here's what happens. He goes out into the hall. You have a 50% chance of him either going to the left or to the right. If he goes to the left, then you're going to lose him for a little bit. If he goes to the right... Then he probably is going to go back to the left again. He's on 0 HP! And every time he goes into the hallway, you can't get him. I mean, you probably can. There we go. Fortieth boo. But yeah, if you ever, if a boo ever travels into this room, which I have no idea where that boo went. I guess he went into another room to the left. Do I have to go up to the third floor? Okay, I guess we'll just forget about that boo for a little bit. But basically what's going to happen is every time you exit this room and come back, all of this dust will appear again, meaning you have to suck it all up. And even the quicker way of just flipping to the ceiling, you have to suck up a bunch of dust, find this, go back down, go through this door, and then the boo will suck. Well, not actually suck, the boo will not take any damage, he'll go back through, and he'll either appear in this room, where you'll be so obscured by the dust that you won't even be able to get him, and he'll go back out to the hallway, or he'll go into this room, where you can fight him again, and if he goes back out to the hallway, which he probably will, you have to go back through the door, suck up all the dust, go through the door, fight the boo where he won't take any HP, rinse and repeat, and you pray that he doesn't go into any rooms on the left, or else he will just not be able to be got for a little bit. It is annoying as all heck, and it just sucks. Boomerang, coming at ya. So you want to activate all of the cuckoo clocks. And they play the Luigi's Mansion theme. And once you activate all of them, all of the toy soldiers spring to life. And you have to suck on the uh, little... What's the name of the little knob that turns? I think it has a name for it. I'll just call it the twisty thing. But yeah, there are three toy soldiers here. And you have to suck them all up. And they're all dealing damage to you at the same time. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay. Thankfully, the furniture there blocked off the uh, toy soldier's shot, so it didn't mess with me. You got the blue guy. I think the pink one is going to mess this up, so I'm definitely not getting a gold here. Yeah, definitely not getting a gold here, but, you know. Oh, hey, I got the big pearl. I guess they were kind of generous with this one. Okay, got you. Okay, all of them are dealt with. You are... 6 o'clock booze. Boo 42. Yeah, and oh, I forgot, I forgot. Thank you for reminding me, Igad. I forgot about the plant. You guys remember the plant down on the first floor by the, uh, by Spooky's doghouse? Uh, we need to go water that. This is the last time you need to water it. Uh, thank you so much for reminding me, Igad. I, I know you're a fictional character and you can't hear me saying thank you, but... <sighs> okay. My brain is just so fried right now that I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff. But yeah, you definitely want to go down and you want to water that plant. I should have done this first right after I beat Bulasis, but I guess I was just so excited because I beat Bulasis. 
Okay, so once you get back here and you have some water, you want to go over here to the plant, and it's going to be like this. You want to water it. It opens up. And you get a gold diamond. There are only two of these things in the entire game. And they are worth so much money. I'll put up on screen how much it's worth. It also gives you a bunch of just normal coins as well. But yeah, th thank god Egad reminded me of that because if he hadn't, then I probably would have forgotten and then I would have been upset with myself because... Yeah, it is just such a good reward and all you have to do is just keep remembering to water that plant. You want to walk into this little fake house right here and it'll act like an elevator and lift you up to the roof. This is our first time seeing the roof. This is the highest we can possibly get in the mansion. We've got a bunch of shy guy ghosts here, so you just want to do what you typically typically do with them. And I am very bad at getting multiple ghosts at a time. Ah. Okay, there we go. I think we just need two more and we should be done with the roof. Or no, four more, sorry. Oh, come on, why can't I get two at the same time? I don't know if there's... Let me know in the comments if there's something that I'm doing wrong. Ah, uh, I didn't even get any that time. Okay, my last chance to get two at a time. And I failed at both. <laughs> Okay, last shy guy. I might I might cut out parts of ghost hunting because it starts to get long, boring, and tedious. So up at this right here, there's nothing. I feel like there's something you can do up here. Maybe... I think I know what's up there. There's some sort of puzzle on this roof, which I forget exactly what it is because... I remember less about the, the later parts of this game. Like, in Area 4, I don't remember too much. But there's some sort of... Oh! I have to kill all the ghosts, and... There was one ghost left. There we go, there's the thing we need. Hey, me from the future. So, like a lot of YouTubers I'm inspired by, I like to keep whatever game I'm next gonna be Let's Playing secret. And for some reason, during this recording, I just started talking about it a bunch. And I decided, you know what? Um, it's I'm just gonna edit some audio over top of it. And plus, I started talking about it like it was going to be my next Let's Play. It's not even going to be my next Let's Play anymore. I'm having one Let's Play in between those two. So, yeah. I don't really have much to say other than, hey, this is why I'm doing this. But I also wanted to dub in some audio just so you guys were entertained and it wasn't silent and weird for whatever reason. Anyway, Sealed Room. They're somewhere in here. I need to check all of the chests because somewhere in here is a speedy spirit waiting to be grabbed. Not you. Not you. Definitely not you. Okay, please, 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 please. Okay, there we go. We got, I think that's our last emerald. Yeah, I think nine emeralds is the maximum amount. Gosh, 
gosh dang you wall hanging ghost thing. Why didn't that? Okay. I don't think I'll be cutting out ghost hunting, but I'll just be editing through it just to make it a bit quicker. And there's our next key. This is the sitting room. Not very dramatic sounding, but you know, we'll work with it. That gives us a gold bar. Now is it here or? No, it's not in here. There's another room that we need to wait for water for. That's a weird thing to say, wait for water for. Maybe I need to... Thank, thank, thankfully there's water in here, so I'm going to go ahead and... I think there's something that I need to set on fire. It's definitely not those. Oh, it's probably the candles up here. Duh. There we go. There we go, I finally got three and one for once. I guess it's just Shy Guy ones are harder to do that with. I'm also very low on HP, so I appreciate those hearts, and we're already back up to 98. So that's water, so I'm gonna... Wait, that's fire, so I'm gonna go for water. Thankfully, this room, unlike previous rooms with elemental ghosts, actually provide us with the element that we need in order to get that. So, Bolivia. I guess that's a pun on Olivia. Ah, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't like your pun name. Come back here. This. Do not try to wake me. Go away. I give these characters weirdly deep voices. Don't set the plant on fire. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, this room is a bit weird, as you can clearly see. First, I'm going to water this plant upside down. Or can I even? I guess I can't do that. I'm going to spray water at this ghost girl, which will wake her up. I think I have to do it three times. <laughs> That's the only way I could describe those noises. I could probably do a better job if I got a proper look at those, at the weird noises that she made, but you know what? I just based those. I just based those noises off of instinct. I just. My brain just said make any possible noises that sound weird and so my brain just did that I guess we got a, a green chest right there and so you may be wondering how do we get to it and how do we water this plant if everything's upside down so you want to leave the room real quick and it's back to normal I'm gonna open this up Oh, and hey, a diamond. Boo in this painting right here. Boonita. Not really sure about that one. Every time I don't really understand or approve of the puns, they always leave. This is the armory. Now here in the armory, uh, you have to check these armor statues, or these, uh, the armors and see if there's any ghosts in them. I think you also have to check these chests as well. Because I think that the ghosts can sometimes hide there. Yep, like this one. I think with some of these armor statues, if you press them, yeah, they'll swing their little mace down. So you gotta be careful of that whenever you're checking an armor. Try to get it from the side or from the back. I failed at that one. There we go, okay. 
How about you? I'm gonna just do that. No, I'll try that. Now, as we're moving on here, you'll see there are more mixtures of ghosts. Like before, we'd typically see like the same type of ghost throughout rooms. But now we're seeing mixtures of all sorts, like one of each ghost. We're seeing gold ghosts in later areas when they're more of like a first couple of rooms type of ghost. Like right here. This is one of the last rooms in the game. And so why is why are the basically the Goombas of this game appearing? Well, that is because of something that I will explain a little bit later. Now, where is this last ghost? Oh, we've got a mirror right over here, by the way. So if you need to warp back down to the first floor, you can go ahead and do that. Did I? Okay, I checked you. Checked you. Oh, did I not check this? Yeah, sorry. I don't know why, it's just my brain blocked out that chest for some reason. There we go. And we get a key. Underboo's making a comeback. Now I'm gonna go to the uh, jar room over here. I forget the actual name. Ceramic Studio, that's a much better name. You wanna get out the ice. Mario. Oh, yeah. in, one, in one of these jars. I don't know if you have to mess with all of the jars or just with a certain one. Oh, there's a ruby. I didn't even know that was in there. Hey. Oh, there we go. Oi, you with the mustache. Yeah, you. What do you think of me, Jar Collect? Okay, this is a horrible Australian accent. What do you think of me? Think of me, Jar Collection, then. Pretty amazing, don't you say? Welly, welly, well, you can't just, we can't just let you look at them for free. Now can we? No, I think not. If you'd like to view me jars, you'd best change me first. You'd best challenge me first. Fine with me. It's on then. See how many me you can freeze with that, with that ice boyo. Freeze seven of me, then you win. Right, right. But if you lose, mate, it's out the door with you. Righto, bring it on. Just gotta wait for him to pop up. Hit him with ice. Wait for him to pop up, hit him with ice. This is just gonna repeat until you get seven of them. I don't think he'll appear in a jar that you're facing. So if you want to, you can face downwards and then he'll only appear in the top ones. The results are Seven of me. Can't believe it. How could I lose? You made my face red for sure, mustache boy. Maybe you'd fancy getting stuffed in one of these jars here. Suck him up. The jars will come flying off the shelves. Come on. If I get a gold on... Ah, dang it. I don't know if I got a big pearl... Okay, there we go. That is Jarvis down. Oh, yeah. And hey, that's a diamond. Tambourine. That's actually a pretty funny pun. Now, now stay in here, please. This is... I'm gonna wait for the thing to appear. The pipe room. Ow. So just do what you normally do, just suck up all the ghosts in the room. We got these guys, the grabbers, who could be super annoying. I messed up catching both of those ghosts, I don't know how. It's been a little while since I last played the game, so I might be a bit rusty at it. That should be the last one? Hey! Buffont. Now what you want to go ahead and do is you want to freeze this weird green water. 
will turn into ice, which has really slippery physics. Then you want to turn this wheel. You just need to walk up to it. You don't need to press A. And that will lead to this waterfall stop, stopping from falling. And we get the key to the next area. So while we're going through here, I thought I'd go ahead and share some trivia because that's what I typically like to do throughout the, throughout a Let's Play, but I guess my brain has just been preoccupied throughout this entire thing, so I've just been forgetting to do that. So, fun fact, you know how for... I might have mentioned some of these in previous videos, but you know how... Actually, I did mention that, never mind. I was going to talk about the overheating function and the beta stuff. Um... One of the most famous pieces of trivia about this game is that there was like an old image of Luigi who like looked really creepy and it always freaked me out as a kid. Um, people thought it was a game over screen for a while, but then I think that was debunked. I think it was just like a trailer image. But yeah, you want to go ahead and set this ghost on fire because it's stuck in a bunch of ice. I think you have to set that wood on fire to the side. Hot. Oh, very hot. You, you're making it too hot. I'm going to cook in this heat. I'm going to melt. Did you light these fires? What were you thinking? People who start fires in this mansion had better be ready to pay the price. Now learn your lesson. So this guy is going to start by trying to impale us with icicles. Ow. So I think what we have to do is set him on fire. That'll free him. You want to suck them up in your vacuum. Ah. As you get farther in the game, the bosses get much harder, obviously. And so, I might start having trouble with some of these later bosses. Especially this one, because he's constantly squirming around, and you've got the icicles that you've got to try hard to avoid. I'm definitely not getting a gold ranking on this one. Or a gold frame, I should say. This should be the last time I need to suck them up, though. Unless I get... Something gets in the way. Nope, we got him. Nice. Originally, there was like a demo timer, like for when people were playing. <laughs> I like how Luigi slides off screen when you get something on the ice. But originally for the demo, there's a timer. Because obviously it's a demo, you don't want people playing for too long. We got Boulder Dash. I forget if I've gotten you already. You know what? I did better on that than I expected. Now, I think there might actually be another boon here, or it could just be one of the fake things like a bomb or a boo ball. But yeah, I think people thought that that demo timer was supposed to be a thing where, like, you had a limited number of time to get through the mansion or something like that. There are a lot of, like, urban legends about this game, like, uh, like the shadow in the telephone room. You get just saying something about the plants. But yeah, like, the, whenever you, when the blackout first occurs, there's lightning striking, um... Oh, this place is all cleared out. Never mind. When you first go to the telephone room during the blackout, you grab one of the telephone, and when the lightning strikes, the shadow looks like something that I'm not sure I can say on YouTube. You know what? I think that this is the last boss ghost before King Boo, so you know what? We're making this episode the finale. This is the artist's studio. It is you, no? You interfere with my afterlife's work. You filthy swine, you're blind to the life I give my creations. Then very well, I will show you the mastery of my art. So, this painter guy, Vincent Van Gore, he is the creator of all of the non-portrait ghosts. He paints them, and then they come to life. And so this is why I mentioned earlier that as we were getting closer to the end of the game, for some reason, a lot of the early game ghosts were 
popping up, and that's because they were coming from here. Well, this is, yeah, that was gonna end bad, because typically you're supposed to get all three at the same time. Now, I'm not sure, I'll correct myself in editing, but I'm not sure if the sucking up of these ghosts has anything to do with Van Gore's, like, painting, like, frame color. Or if it's just Van Gore himself who has to do with that. Jesus, I am having some trouble on this one. Okay, there we go, and I shouldn't have any trouble with this last one. I almost got messed up there because my Poltergust, I think, went automatically towards the heart to suck it up. So that was very bad for me. No! Oh god, this is gonna end bad for me too. Okay, get rid of you. If you don't get all three at the same time, then this is a lot harder than it's supposed to be. Or maybe it's just as hard as it's supposed to be. Because, you know, it's the final, not final boss. I finally got a, like, multiple Shy Guys in one vacuum suckage. We get the garbage can ghosts, like, second to last, which is weird because we didn't encounter him in that order. I believe the garbage can ghosts were, like, the third ones that we encountered after the, you know, the, uh, pink punchers and, or the purple punchers, or the puncher ghosts and the gold ghosts, not in that order. If there's any specific reason why the ghosts are in this order, maybe it's just because it ramps up in difficulty or something like that. Gosh, dang it. Before in the game when we'd only have like one garbage can ghost at a time, then they were sort of easy to deal with. But now that we have multiple going at once, it's they're quite annoying. Ah. And now we have to deal with um these ceiling ghosts for like the second time in the game before we just walk past these guys, but... Okay, now that we're done with those guys, now, my my creations, but even if they, I disappear, my work will live on. That he's right. Nessie Pass. Art is eternal. Huh? You say that only one of my creations is left, but this cannot be. Zatolo. Sorry if my French impression isn't that good. I just tried to do my normal voice. For the... I don't know. I'm not very good at doing impressions of other accents. Like, not good at British. Ah. And, you know, you guys saw how bad I am at British accents in my Ace Attorney series. Come on, Luigi, get bigger. You can't use your vacuum while you're small. I was holding R that entire time and, you know, I wasn't able to do that. But yeah, now we're done with him. Boutique. Now, here's one interesting thing that I don't know what to think about. In the files of the game, there's a creature called L. E-L-H. And I'll go ahead and show up a picture on screen. But what? Like, if I saw this as, like, if I saw this when I first played this game when I was real young, then I probably would have like, had tons of nightmares about that thing, because what even is it? I found it. Holy crap, I found it. I, how did I not find it in here? Finally, booby hatch. I actually got it, holy crap! This is the second and final golden diamond in the game. And EGAD doesn't say anything special about it. We slide off screen. And now I'm gonna go save. Anyways, without further ado, 
Let's go in. Ah, I could just stare at my Mario painting for hours. It's true what they say about fine art. It takes utterly refined sensibilities to truly appreciate it. The way you plead for help, Mario, I find it so satisfying. Perhaps that is merely because I remember how much trouble you've caused me in the past. Seriously, though, who would actually believe that mansions get given away in contests? Talk about stupid. What do they feed you, Mario Brothers, anyway? Gullible soup? Your brother came all this way just to get turned into a painting. It's just terrific. However, this Mario painting looks lonely. I must have a Luigi painting as well. Then my gallery will truly be complete. Blah! I'm not afraid of you, fool. I fear only that infernal Poltergeist 3000 you carry on your back. Stupid machine. But I am the king among boos. I swear it. I shall fear no mere house cleaning device. I must say, I despise the way you schwerp, schloop, whirp, schlorg, vacuumed up all my friends. Don't imagine that I'll flee. I'll fight you like a true boo. Now join your brother inside the painting. <laughs> This is the final boss fight against King Boo and Bowser. So Madame Clairvoya was right when she said that Bowser was technically inside the mansion. So what you want to do is you want to take these bombs and when he bends his head down, go ahead and pop his head off. This will reveal King Boo. So it's actually just a Bowser costume and not actually King Boo. And the head will float off and start shooting ice at us instead of how Bowser typically shoots fire. I always think that the head is really creepy when it's off because it has no pupils. Now I'm going to wait for him to go ahead and move. Actually, he's going to go ahead and throw the bombs at us. King Boo pops back out. I think there's actually a way that you can hit Bowser's head if you pick up another bomb, but I'm scared that that'll, that I'll let King Boo go if I do that. But I let King Boo go anyway, so, eh. Puts his head back on. Oh, and another bomb. Oh. I was somehow able to do that, but I might not be able to fight King Boo for long. I think speedrunners can do this fight in like half a minute, which is insane to me. But we're getting pretty close, we're about halfway through the fight. So he puts back on the head, and there's going to be something that happens that I'm waiting for it to happen. But for now he just keeps throwing bombs. Come on. Ah, dang it. And now he accidentally puts back on the Bowser head backwards. So now he starts running at you and he has no idea where he's going. We just try not to get hit by him. He turns the Bowser head back around and starts shooting fire again. That's probably one of my favorite parts of the boss fight. Because it's just so 
like almost comical in a way. Now, some people say that, um, you know, most people say that this is just like a Bowser costume made to scare Luigi, because, you know, that's the whole point of ghosts, is to scare people. Uh, but some say that it's actually Bowser and, like, hey, we beat him! And we get his crown, which is a red diamond, which, as we mentioned before, isn't worth anything. And that was Luigi's Mansion. Luigi. Luigi, you did it. Truly remarkable, my boy. I supplied the Poltergeist 3000, but you ran with, with it all the way to the top, Sonny. You made me so proud. Get a hold of yourself, Gad. What's that? You found King Boo? He jumped into a painting of Bowser, you say? He even blew fire at you? Well, well, in all my years of ghost research, I've never heard such a fantastical tale. And that career spanned 60 years, mind you. Why, well, I still recall starting out as a young whelp who trembled at the mere thought of a ghost. Trembled, I say. Oh, beg your pardon. This old brain goes re recollecting every now and then. I could sit down and fill a week spinning, spinning ghost yarns. Why, just last... Right, anywho, Luigi, grab your brother's painting and, grab and bring him to the lab. <laughs> the poor fellow's... The poor little fellow's fallen fallen asleep. He must have just colla collapsed with relief and exhaustion when he saw you arrive. I'll get the machine ready to return your brother to his former state, alrighty? I'll be expecting you both. So yeah, now we're back in here, and I just want to say some people theorize that that actually is Bowser and not a costume, because, you know, Madame Clairvoya mentioned that Mario had soundly defeated Bowser, which some people theorize that Luigi's Mansion takes place at, like, the end of the Mario timeline, and, uh, you know, that actually is Bowser that King Boo's just possessing, or that King Boo is Bowser's ghost. But we know from Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Mario Kart DS, where we see upgraded versions of the Poltergust, but we still see Bowser alive, that that's not true. This will mess with your head. All your hard work lasted only a single night. Well done, Luigi. The mansion those Boo's built dis disappeared into the night, but that treasure seems to be real. I have no interest in such stuff, so go on and keep it all. Use it however you like. Say what? Enough rattling on about money? I guess we'd better get your brother back then. Of course your brother's really important, but first we have to take care of the, these last ghosts. And so yeah, the Bowser head and King Boo actually do appear inside of the Poltergust. Or not the Poltergust, the uh, Portificationizer. Ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Hmm. I'd wager dollars to donuts that nobody but me has such lovely paintings. <laughs> Got a gold on Uncle Grimly. Silver on Jarvis. Silver on Vincent Van Gogh. Silver on Sue P. Gold on the Clockwork Soldiers. Silver on Sir Weston. And I think that's a bronze for them i'll go ahead and put up on screen what ranking i got that's a really cool painting though but yeah we've caught all 23 ghosts and so the total amount of money that we've gotten is one hundred and fifteen million seven hundred ten thousand g fairly nice
mamma mia. That's such a cute ending. But yeah, that is Luigi's Mansion. Pretty short game, but honestly one of my favorites and probably, I'd say probably my favorite game on the GameCube. It is just such a fun adventure start to finish and probably the closest that Nintendo will ever get to making a Mario horror game. But yeah, it's just such a fun adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. And of course, at the ending of every single Let's Play, I've got to get really sappy. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has just been such an adventure making videos for you guys. And I'm probably not going to stop anytime soon. I've already planned out Let's Plays for at least the next year. So don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Took a little bit of a break between this video and the previous video. But that's just because, you know, I've got a lot of stuff on my plate. I've got to do school stuff and, you know, I've got to do stuff for me, you know, got to have my own personal breaks. And, you know, it's still fun doing stuff for this. And so I'm just not going to be going anywhere. That's adorable. We get to hear little voice clips of them reuniting. But yeah, this has been such a fun ride. I've been wanting to play this game for so long. And now I've finally done it. And I'm pretty proud of this Let's Play. I've got a lot of stuff. And now it's time for the thing that you wait for at the end of every Luigi's Mansion Let's Play. Depending on how much money you've gotten, you will get a different ranking. I believe the rankings are F through A. And I think you can get higher rankings in the 3DS remake. And so, let's see what I got in a little bit. But yeah, my next Let's Play is going to be something that I've Let's Played on this channel before, but it's getting new updates to the game, so I thought I'd go ahead and play it. And so the matter of the ghost was settled. Professor Egad was so delighted to have all those paintings returned so that he used the treasure Luigi had found to build Luigi a new house. Please be a good ranking. I believe that is the best ranking you can get in the game. Congratulations, your mansion is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.